Welcome back and welcome to Yield Source Weekly Harvest. On this channel, we grow auto flower strains under 24 hours of light and give you the best tips and tricks to show you how to maintain a perpetual grow. This week on the Weekly Harvest, we're going to bring you in and show you how easy it is to get a pound of weed out of a three gallon pot. Take a look at this 4x4 monster a few weeks ago. I kept the flowering temps cold to bring out color. And we're going to do a small experiment with the trim bowl. We're going to do a wet trim and a dry trim. All the bud you see here hanging and drying is from one plant. Damn. The bud is actually dry right now and I'm gonna tell you the final weight in a few moments. Since we're gonna compare the wet trim to the dry trim, we're gonna have to change the blade to the serrated blade on the trim bowl. And as we do that, let's take the time to thank everybody who hit the Buy Me Coffee support page. Dragon Life Genetics, Yama Grow 420, Growing Old Man Style, and Coyote Gardens. Look, don't feel left out. Head over there and buy a bag of weed. It'll get you in the entry for one of these bongs. The Buy Me Coffee page link is in the description. And it's also on my channel's main page. Look, you have to remember, it's for a purpose. Everything you do, everything you contribute goes back into the community. I don't put any of this in my pocket. Come hang out on the weekend and see for yourself. We give a live giveaway every Friday and Saturday, 8.30 p.m. Eastern. Before I get this trim bowl going, I'm just really trimming the large sticks off. Not only are we comparing the quality of the trim, we're also comparing the quality of the bud itself. How long it takes to dry, which method preserves more trichomes and of course we're looking to see which method is easiest since the butt is so wet i'm actually going pretty slow here and i packed the second bowl and went pretty fast after the wet trim these are the only buds that went into the drying rack after five days of the rest of the plant hanging upside down it was time to remove the buds and add them to the drying rack and the wet trim buds went to a mason jar. Some people don't like to handle their bud and they like to cut each bud off with some scissors, but I ain't got all day. The easy way is to pinch that stem at the base and push those buds right off. If you've been defoliating a flower like you're supposed to, it shouldn't be any fan leaves, if any at all. And this phenomenon strain isn't that leafy, so dry trim should be a breeze. Now that all the bud is dry enough to weigh, that one plant was 512 grams. All we did was LST and throw it in a big ass tent. To see it for yourself, click this video right here.
Over in the flower tent, we have four more of those phenomenon plants ready to go. But it's not their time yet. So they've been lollipop and prep because they have to wait for the afgu overdrive. And my one gallon grow plants actually look pretty good. Check it out. These plants grow genetically the same. They don't get too tall, but they get fat, wide, and bushy. The phenomenon. Also in a one gallon, we have some more forbidden fruit. And she's huge. My boy KJ said, y'all gotta get a shot of the whole grow room all together. We also have some Mac one in a one gallon, but check out how much taller the forbidden fruit is over the phenomenon. And both of these strains are photo period under 24 hours of life. Yo, this content is crazy, isn't it? Go ahead, click in with me. Don't miss out. Be sure to come hang out on the weekend and win something. If I was you, I'd click this video right here and keep watching. And to all my grubbies out there, I'm in the lab working on the next video. And I will see you next time.